Glad we got it to work out. So, so talk to us about National Lighthouse Day. Obviously, this is a big deal for Michigan. It is. You know, Michigan is known for many things. We're a beer state, as you've mentioned. Uh, we're the Great Lakes state. We've got more miles of freshwater coastline than any other state. But Michigan also has more lighthouses than any other state. And so today of all days, I think we should celebrate that. We've got 129 lighthouses around the state of Michigan, places like Big Bay Point Lighthouse here, which is the only operating lighthouse bed and breakfast in the state of Michigan. It's up on Lake Superior. We've got great lighthouse museums like Whitefish Point, which is this picture, uh, which is, of course, where the Edmund Fitzgerald went down uh, near that area in 1975. We've got lighthouses that you can tour. This is Fort Gratiot, our oldest lighthouse, dating back to 1825, even before Michigan was a state, we had these lighthouses. And so, you know, you can go and see the beautiful pier lights if you go into South Haven or Grand Haven. We have some of them that you can actually tour, like White River Light Station in Whitehall or Big Sobble Point in Ludington. And it's really a great chance to celebrate some of our early history here in Michigan um, and an industry that protected the shorelines for so many of our other industries like mining and lumbering and fishing and the shipment of agriculture and even early tourism when we had you know, these, these steamships bringing tourists in from Chicago and Detroit to northern Michigan. Those lighthouses provided guidance and safety for all of those vessels. And so today of all days and, and maybe every day, but particularly today, I think you should celebrate and recognize National Lighthouse Day. I'm actually headed to uh, to Manistee this afternoon to give a presentation on Michigan's haunted lighthouses with the library up there. So Manistee, of course, has a lighthouse. So I'll be making a swing by there to celebrate, and that'll be where that I'll celebrate today. Wonderful. And, you know, Diana, it's so wonderful that we have so many of these lighthouses preserved because, I mean, this is something that we, we don't really need lighthouses anymore, but, but are there any that are still staffed at all in, in our state? They do not have staffing full time, but we have several that are still in operation. So, you know, if you go, um, I was just thinking when I was on Beaver Island, I could see the light in the village going off. You know, we still have them. They're still active. They don't necessarily serve the same vital purpose that they did when they were first built because we do have technology. But as we just saw, technology doesn't always work. <laughs> and so it's nice to have that backup plan at the lighthouse uh, that's shining that light. You know, it's interesting. I, I, there's been a lot of news lately about um, sh shipping and boating accidents and and people getting caught off guard in storms or running into things or having fires on the boats and whatnot. Um, so I guess it's kind of a safety net for that if uh, if you need to have and know where the where the shore is and where the lighthouse um, can guide you into the harbor as it's done for, in some cases, over 200 years. Yeah, pretty impressive stuff. So if people want to learn more, they want to grab one of your books, what do they need to do? So you can get my books at PromoteMichigan.com. You can also find the schedule of where I'm speaking. So I'd love to have people come out and listen to one of my presentations. I love it, too, when I get descendants of lighthouse keepers who come out, and that happens uh, more often than you would think. Um, and then if you want more information about lighthouses in Michigan in general, I invite people to check out the Great Lakes Lighthouse Keepers Association. Uh, their website is there on the screen, and they have lighthouse tours through the Straits of Mackinac out to St. Helena Island. This is my go-to for when I'm doing my own research as well. Wonderful, Diana. Thank you so much for being with us. Happy National Lighthouse Day. Have a wonderful day. We'll be right back.